This is Nasudoceratops, a ceratopsian from the late Cretaceous period whose skull made up a third of their body length. Nasudoceratops had bull-like horns and a big round nose and is probably the most visually looking similar to the modern day cow. All right, hello everybody. This is our Nasudoceratops here. I'm actually really excited. I put this guy in my last mod news video, so it's great to see him come out. A little bit of surprise threw me off a bit, but it's still good to see him. All right, let's go through these subspecies right quick. This is our D default here he's looking really good he's got that high spine actually in the back that's higher up than the frill here in the curved bull horns like i was talking about and our next one is jagged a little bit smaller here you saw the hump go down a little bit lower smaller chest and legs and the horns are not as curved they're just straight out longhorn definitely more like the modern day cow and it's not just the horns that are wider and curved outwards but the base of it right here is also wider taurus back to that high spine the back legs are really high here you can tell and it's got shorter smaller curved inwards horns here not too much difference between them all veteran you got one broken horn here i don't know if you can tell that might be better for you guys but you got one broken horn here but it's basically still the base default subspecies crooked we have basically just one horn goes up and one horn is curved inwards which is still kind of funny it's very cute i don't know how that would work in like real life though if that'd be very helpful i guess it's better than no horn right ava ceratops oh that's cute that actually used to be an ai that we had in the aisle so it's cool to see that they made a subspecies you got the forward hooked downwards horns here longest basically the tail seems a little bit longer that might just be me though but we also have long forward facing and curved up horns beefus <laughs> basically a much smaller shorter face you still got the curved upwards horns but he's a lot thicker here he's a massive chunk our next one much smaller frill here our horns still curve upwards our face is back to being elongated it's pretty good looking though and back to our default which is pretty much just you know the way the horns are sprayed out all right let's go through the calls right quick first we have broadcasts Ooh, very cow-like. <laughs> I know that's probably like a weird thing to say, but it is. Two call. Ooh, I like that. It's actually loud and it's friendly. Threaten. Mm, I do wish there was a little bit more to that. I like the kind of like step forward, but I feel like it could have been a little bit more aggressive. Four call. Ooh, the four call is really good. The lean back, the tail tucked to the side. That was really good. Talk. Just a slow rumble. It's not really going to get you caught out if you're talking a lot, unless something is like really close to you, has already seen you guys. So, shake. Your pretty standard shake, a nice wiggle. Uh, stretch. Yeah, there we go. Big stretch is very similar to the Smilodon, which makes sense because it was made by the same creator, Rosepaw. Mystery. That could be considered kind of like a challenge email, I think, but we're going to keep it as mystery for now. Look around. There you go. Yeah. Pretty alert, and I don't know what this is. Mystery number two. I think that's a mating emote. <laughs> I think that's what that is, like a mating display, which is very interesting. I want to see two Nasudos do that to each other, just, just for the looks. Uh, let's check out the female skin right quick. Okay, just a like lighter orange and a bit darker over here. Palette, you got the lines going back as well. Looks pretty good. I like it. All right, here is our baby model. It's super cute. You can see the little nubs on the head here. I have to be really close just because that's how the camera is situated, but it's very cute. You got this tiny, tiny little frill that's not going to do anything right now. And then you got this tiny, tiny little speck between the eyes as well. It looks really good though. Let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. <laughs> That's one of the better squeaky sounds. Most of the times for babies, they just make this like really high pitched random squeak. But this one actually sounds like, you know, still kind of like 
the broadcast a little bit. Do you call? Mm -mm. <laughs> That's cute. Threaten? That looks way more aggressive on the baby and it sounds more aggressive too. What call? Oh, that was cute. Talk. That sounds pretty much like the adults version. Shake. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Stretch. There you go. Oh, the fingers. <laughs> Big stretch. Mystery. Challenge, kind of. Look around. Really looking around with them eyes, assessing the situation. But he doesn't seem too worried, so. And then, I guess, the mating ritual? Ooh. I do like that it's more of a dance. All right, let's go through the animations right quick. First, we have our walk. <laughs> it's very slow. And if you're going downhill, it makes you pretty much do a slight run. But it's incredibly slow. I mean, I get it. All right, our run. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think because they make the speed for runs really fast, it always looks weird when the babies start running because it's just a sped up animation. This guy's got pretty decent turn radius and it's pretty fast though. Let's see, we got a jump. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not super, super high, but you're pretty big, honestly, for a baby. Let's see if we can sit. Okay, so we tuck one leg over and just kind of splay out right quick. That's good. Sleep. Oh, we just curl over. Just put our head down. Super cute. Get up. Open our eyes. Do a little shake wiggle. And we're standing. All right, and here's our adult model. It looks really good. You can see the breathing in the nostrils there. That's the first thing I noticed. It's got a really nice idle animation here. It looks very natural. He's a lot bigger too than I thought he was gonna be. I don't know why, but I always had this image of Nasuto being not as big as it could be, even though I've watched like all the Jurassic Park movies. Uh, okay, let's go through our animations right quick. Here's our walk. I feel kind of like it's supposed to be a jog just from where I'm looking at it. It kind of jitters a little bit. I guess because it's supposed to be like walking on its tiptoes. Maybe it's because I'm not on flatland. Let me get a little bit more flatter. No, right here's our run. Uh, I don't like the way the back legs jitter like that. The front legs are fine. It's just like the way the hips are here. It's got good turn radius though. All right, let's sit. Okay, same. Just a foot under, one out. The tail moves a little bit. I didn't see that before. Our sleepy moat. Put our head down and we're laying there. It looks nice. I like it a lot. Get up. A little wiggle. And we're lifting ourselves. Do we have a jump? No, we do not have a jump. Now we can do our precise movement. Here is our turn in place. It's pretty fast, which is pretty much in line with all the other Ceratopsians. They have pretty decent turning in place speed. So you're our backup. That's pretty fast too. Usually that's really slow. Left, right. My guy has thighs for days. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The model itself is just perfect. All right, here's our drinking animation. Here we go. Splay the arms out. One of them is a little bit stuck in the ground here, but it's a pretty simple sip. Taste it for a second. Make sure you drink it all down. It looks really good. All right, here's our swim animation. It is pretty slow. And we're using all of our fingers here. Toes in our body, our head is up above water, which is really good. Let's see our speed swim. 
Moves a little bit faster. Oh, but it's not very good. <laughs> you do not want to be caught out in the water with Nasuto Ceratops. That is for sure. Oh God, my stam too. Right here is our eating animation right quick. You can eat mushrooms with your uh, metabolism change. This is pretty much a scratch and kind of like digging stuff up. All right, we're going to go through the skins right quick. This is the male default skin right here. Next, we have Dirt, Moss, Blue Rowan, Cowboy, Chili, Ruby Throat, Jade, Maze, Bearded, Sunburst, Kiwi, Tropical, Canyon, Sandstone, Limestone, Dun, Skink, Gecko, Chameleon, Buckeye, Amazon, Bongo, Reindeer, Bison, Toro, Elder, Leucistic, Melanistic, and Pita. Wow, there are so many skins for this guy. And they're all really, really good. Maybe not this last one, but <laughs> the rest of them are all really, really good. Like even the dirt one, these very simple ones, the cheaper ones, they're all very, very good. And I like them a lot. Like some of the best skins I've seen out of them so far. So let's check out the abilities right quick. First, we have probably another census trait. Balance, no positive negative effects. Recovery plus health recovery. Doesn't tell us how much. Plus attack damage for violent. Bulky plus armor. We're not going to mess with that right now. We have three head slots. Headbutt, a quick headbutt attack can be used while running. Bite, a bite attack that causes a small amount of damage and bleed. Bone Crusher, a strong headbutt that causes bone break. Ward off, a headbutt to push enemies away, only usable when standing still while crouching. Wow. Thrash, a double headbutt, only usable when standing still while crouching. Why do we gotta crouch? Our senses here, we have Lone Survivor, 10% armor increase and increased maneuverability when not in a group. Berserker, when low on health, your attacks cooldowns are 25% faster and deal 10% more damage. Shield Wall, gain 8% increased armor when you're within 50 meters of other Ceratopsians in your group. Stacks up to three times. Stampede, increases damage by 2.5% for each Ceratopsian in the group. Stacks up to four times. Okay, these are all really good, very useful. Front Limb, Horn Toss Right, 90 degree attack to your right and then we have horn toss left which is basically the same thing but in your left direction metabolism we have able to eat berries fruit nuts and roots that's really really good moderate food drain forager able to eat bones shells mushrooms flowers nuts roots and fish faster food drain fat reserves eat berries and fruit decreases hunger and thirst depletion rate increases maximum food and water rate decreases max stamina and stamina recovery rate so huge huge nerfs to you on that your stamina is already not that great so i wouldn't really use that unless you're about to starve hide we have robust crouching in place for five seconds will grant extreme incoming damage resistance until uncrouching so it's pretty similar to Anodonto there. And then Thick Blood, crouching in place for five seconds will grant extreme incoming bleed, venom, and bone break resistance until uncrouching, which is also really good. But does it matter? Depend. I guess it depends on what you're fighting. Because if you're fighting an Apex, even if you don't get like bone broke, you're still going to take the max amount of damage. So yeah, I would say Robust is probably better unless the bleach just takes you out. I don't know. We got to test it out. Legs. Rodeo, a violent burst of energy for a short period of time, does damage multiple times and, and anyone attached to you will fly off. That's really good for pouncing. This sounds super fun. I want to try that out. That sounds awesome. They're going to hate me. <laughs> charge, charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit. That's also really good. Back limb. Traction increases turning speed by 20% but decreases stamina recovery by 30% which is not good so I probably won't be using that. I really do hate the stamina recovery nerfs anytime I see that in an ability especially since ours is not amazing. It's good, but it's not, you know, the most amazing thing. Long distance runner reduces running stamina drain by 15%. I do like that one. I equip that almost every time. Then our voice ability, we have two. We have Corral. Decreases cooldowns for all Ceratopsians in a group within 30 meters for 40 seconds. Pretty good. Poke the Bull. Increases your damage by 30% and decreases armor by 30% for 30 seconds. So, mm, I would use that as like a last resort type thing basically if you just need some a big burst of damage but you still have enough health you know to kind of take incoming damage this is rough this is a rough one you got to really time it to use it correctly all right we're gonna go through the abilities right quick first up we have headbutt it's very quick slow cooldown nobody gets a chance attacking you head on at least our next ability is bite here 
It's also quick, very fast cooldown. This does low damage and bleed. So maybe if you're dealing with small creatures. After that, we have Bone Crusher. Oh, it's like a forward thrust thing. That's interesting. That was really cool to see. That's going to do Bone Break. So you definitely want to use that for pesky, fast dinos. If you can time it correctly. One more time. Bone Break. I like it. So our next ability is going to be ward off. First, you have to crouch here. So we're going to get into our stance like this. And then we're going to do that, which is basically like a push, a nice little poke shove kind of a animation to back people up. It's going to do knockback. So keep people off of you from constantly trying to attack you. You should also be able to use it while turning but not consistently. You have to stand still, it seems. After that, we have Thrash, which is exactly pretty much what I expected. A double head Thrash is supposed to do two hits. It'll hit multiple times at least. I think you can only do it standing still. So yeah, it's not gonna work if you're moving in place. Kind of have to just turn and hope you hit somebody, but it looks really cool. Our next animation is Rodeo. What? Oh my god, look at that! Oh, that is so good! That's going to get pouncers off of you and they're going to take some damage. You're also going to hit anybody that tries to approach you while doing this. So, awesome, awesome animation. Absolutely my favorite. Like, you just keep making these mods more and more fun and I love it. Next, we have our charge ability. It starts off slow, but you really do get to speed up. Lastly, we have our voice abilities. First up is Corral. Yeah, nice. It's short and quick. It's not going to take too much time. And it sounds kind of similar to your other voice calls. So you might be able to trick people into thinking you're not buffed up when you are. And our last one is Poke the Bull. My guy has seen red. <laughs> But yeah, so that gives you your 30% damage buff, but also 30% increased incoming damage. So if you can avoid taking damage during this time, definitely do it. Um, but also you want to be aggressive because that's a big damage boost for you. So we'll see. So my opinion on the Pseudoceratops, it is going to be one of the most fun dinos to play. It's kind of like a smaller, more mobile Anodontosaurus. It's still not super fast, but it has so many fun abilities. It can defend itself if it needs to, but it can also kind of like run you down a little bit. Not super, super long distance like most other herbivores, but it is going to be a fun, fun time. I would definitely check this guy out because there is nothing more exciting, I think, than some of these abilities that it has. And it just looks really great. And the model is amazing. The sounds are pretty decent too. Definitely go and check it out today.